बिफोर बिगनिंग विथ दिस एग्जाम्पल रीड क्वेश्चन केयरफुली इन क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवन दैट द पीरियड ऑफ ऑसिलेशन ऑफ अ सिंपल पेंडुलम इज गिवन बाय द फॉर्मूला टी इज इक्वल्स टू दैट कैपिटल टी ऑलवेज रिप्रेजेंट टाइम पीरियड टाइम पीरियड मीन्स पीरियड टाइम टू कंप्लीट वन ऑसिलेशन वॉट इज ऑसिलेशन यू कैन सी हियर you can see here oscillations of pendulum if you are starting from here and completing one path this time is called time period time to complete one oscillation is called time period now it depends on two things that is a length of pendulum this is l length of a string of a pendulum and it depends on gravity what is the gravitational acceleration at at that point where the pendulum is situated for example uh, if pendulum is on the surface of earth then gravity is higher on the surface of earth and if pendulum is uh, on any mountain so pendulum is at some height from the surface of earth hence gravity is less over there gravitational acceleration is less which will indirectly affect the time period of a pendulum so time period of pendulum is affected by two things that is only length of a pendulum and gravitational acceleration at that point now this is useless 2 pi is useless it is not useful for us because it is constant it is not a variable right and reading question measured value of l is 20 cm known to 1 mm accuracy 1 mm accuracy means it is delta l given to you right and always remember if this is in centimeter you have to convert delta l also in centimeter they will twist it by changing the units and time for 100 oscillations of a pendulum is found to be 90 second means here if if it's oscillate for 100 times then it takes 90 second using a wrist watch of 1 second resolution resolution means an accuracy that up to minimum what value it measures and we know that wrist watch always measures a minimum time of 1 second so this is your delta t delta t is 1 second given to you and no uh, problem here of unit because this is also in second this is also in second then what is the accuracy in determination of g so we need to determine g fine make g as a subject how will you make g as a subject take square on both the side of this equation by taking square we will take it's 4 pi square we will take g out of root it is l by g and making g as a subject g is equals to l into 4 pi square upon t square so for my delta g upon g i'll be getting delta l by l plus 2 into delta t by t but here if you note down question properly it is capital t is not given to you and delta capital t is also not given to you because capital t and delta capital t are time for one oscillation and in question they had given that for 100 oscillation time t is given to you. small t is given to you. capital t is not given to you so what will you do so we will find out relation between small t and capital t so concentrate if time taken for complete one os for completing one oscillation is capital t then what will be time for n oscillation if let us say it is small t then from by cross multiplication we can say that t into n should be equals to capital t into 1 that is capital t is equals to t n now multiplying delta on both the sides i can say that delta t is equals to delta small t into n hence from equation 1 and 2 i can say that delta t by t is equals to delta t into n upon t into n and n will be cancelled out hence equation 3 states that your delta 
capital T by T is always equal to delta small t by T irrespective of any oscillations you count. So finally now from our this equation delta G by G is equal to delta L by L plus 2 delta T by T if we'll put all the values you will easily get the relative error in gravity you can also find out percentage error by multiplying relative error by 100 now let us take our equation that is delta g by g is equals to delta t by t which is now delta small t by t as i have proved in equation 3 plus it should be 2 into because it was t square plus delta l by l now l is given as 20 centimeter plus or minus it was corrected to what was the resolution resolution was here we can say 1 mm accuracy so delta l was 1 mm now i can say that plus minus delta L for plus minus delta L I'll be having plus minus 1 mm 1 mm is nothing but 0 0.1 centimeter and your delta T uh, I mean time is given as T which is 90 second plus or minus it was corrected to 1 second value resolution of wristwatch was 1 second second now by putting all those values because this is nothing but L plus minus delta L and this is T plus minus delta T. Now putting all the values delta G by G is equals to 2 into 1 upon 90 that is delta T by T plus 0.1 upon 20 which is delta L by L. Now substituting all the values we will be getting delta g by g is equals to 0 0.027 and uh, percentage error we can find out as delta g by g into 100 which is equals to 0 0.027 into 100 which is equals to 2.7 percent or it is equivalent to 3 percent this is your percentage error hope you have got the concept thanks for watching